What is vibrato? Well, it's basically a nice change of pitch that makes the sound a bit nicer, depending on what period you're playing from. Now, when we think of vibrato, we think maybe sometimes... No, keep it well away from here. Vibrato really ideally is made down here. Now, we don't have to concentrate on that too much because I have a series of exercises that will help you to use down here. The other thing is copy your dog. When he or she breathes heavily, this panting is part of it. It's like a double vibrato. So we use a panting mechanism here. I use the tune Yankee Doodle to teach vibrato with. Why Yankee Doodle? Well, everyone knows it. And it has a whole series of quavers or eighth notes. And the other main thing is it stops twice. So we have la da 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 di dum. The stop is very important because we need to have control over vibrato. So if you whistle Yankee Doodle, even if even like me, if you can't whistle, it doesn't matter. The main thing that was awful, I know. The main thing is to keep it really long. La 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 la. We can get rid of the actual Yankee Doodle pitches and just whistle. Be careful that we're not doing We should really have a continuous sound with just this, this sort of lapping going on. La la la, you can also sing it. La 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 la. So doing that now, I'm giving you some compressed exercises. This, like tonguing, takes quite a long time. Give it an investment of a few months, a few years, decades even. And remember, you're not in McDonald's. This is not a fast food restaurant. So if we take this Yankee Doodle idea again and whistle. And then again, A. I'm, why A? Well, I find it a really easy note. Pick your own note. But I play low A because it's a very responsive note and it blows easily. So I think. La. La 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 ha Of course it won't be even at first. You have to really develop this technique, but give yourself time. And one of the reasons why we sing it first, la 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 is to give your brain something to latch onto. It's like a template. So think la 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 la. Be really definite with the vibrato. So two things we need to really remember with vibrato. Support and long. We need really good breath support. Once it travels up to here, it's really wrong and it interferes with our music making. Vibrato should be an addition to your music and should not distract from the music. So once we get this going on A, keep moving to other notes. And again, play la 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 ha 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 I do this all over the flute. Bear in mind, every time you do it, some notes can be different to others. So if I do this on C sharp. La 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 ha 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 ha
and so on up through the whole range of the flute. Bearing in mind that your top register will require more effort vibrato-wise, but also bear in mind as well that once you start tightening for the top register, your vibrato becomes much more difficult. So don't blame, blame the vibrato, relax in the top register.